going to be a wild ride. What a game. Anything can happen in March. To be forever a champion. How about that? Absolute madness. fans and welcome to tonight's game between the Illinois Fighting Illini and the Ohio State Buckeyes. And of course we look here at our star watch. And of course here's our starting lineup. I'm going to watch these two kids at the shooting guard position. They are major contributors to their team's success and can't afford to have an off night. We got the potential for fireworks here today as two of the top teams in the country are getting ready to get things going. I said it's going to be a real treat to see how things play out, Brad. I've been looking forward to this one. I know a lot of people throughout the nation have been waiting for this one as well. The Fighting Illini are currently ranked number 25 in the nation, Dick. Hey, I'll tell you, Brad, it's always great to see how the rankings change from week to week. The priority in college basketball is unbelievable. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. And now getting set up here in a four round one. I love the four round one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you got to give help on him, and it leaves people open on the perimeter. And they better be able to make that open jump shot. Plummer handles the pass. Number 32 is called for the foul. First team foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. You know, seniors are important because they bring so much to the team. Leadership, motivation, and a sense of accountability. It's their last year, so you know they want to make it a memorable one. It's two at the charity strike. Cross court. For the bucket. Nice shot. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. For two, it's no good. Frazier receives the pass. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes. Number three, four, two. He's the assistant two. Frazier. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Oh, what a high ride. 
Tries a great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. Wheeler picks up the foul. Second team foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. About three minutes remaining. Kicks it out with a good look. Can't connect. Shoots from the corner. Off the mark. The Buckeyes have done a great job recruiting as of late. And as a result, they've been regulars at the NCAA tournament. Well, they're a lot of fun to watch. It's great to see a program develop. Both teams keeping it close. Both teams ranked in the top 25. Playing some really good basketball, as expected, Dick. You know, they both came out of the gates on a high level. And their play speaks for itself. Two really well-coached teams. And as you can see, the attention of the polls is well-deserved. He misses the second. He grabs the board. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. Nick, are they being taken out of their game offensively? Hey, they're taking themselves out of the game by rushing bad shots and not executing an offense. When you can pass and score like he does, it makes a coach's job a little bit easier, wouldn't you say, Dick? What's great about him is an ability to pass and score. It's a skill that not enough guards have. As a coach, you love having this type of player on your roster. He misses the fadeaway. He shoots from the top of the circle, gets the J to fall. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Looking for a good shot. Nice fake. Gave it up. From left of the circle, that bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there, drawing the foul and finishing the hoop. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He saved to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. With the free one. He missed it. Snatches it away. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. For the bucket, drains the shot. On the outside, the fake. Looking for a good shot for three. Missed the jumper. Goes up for two. He's money with the shot. He puts up the runner. Off target. Working it around the perimeter. Good fake. Ball stripped. With a final shot. Off the mark. At halftime, the Fighting Illini are trailing by two. Ohio State was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's back to work, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half.
And here's a look at what each team here today will be focusing on when we get things underway. I'll tell you what, you can get a sense of the story of this game by looking at some of these numbers. Still lots of time to play, though. Anything can happen. He makes the substitution back into the ballgame. Well, Brad, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of energy he comes with. Look at that spacing. With the fake. With the J. The missed shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Now on the run. For two. Off the glass and no good. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. The Buckeyes have done a fantastic job at the defensive end in terms of giving up transition baskets. Dick, you mentioned this at the beginning of the game, and it has been key for them. They've been successful so far because of their defense. Let's see how they do in the second half. Brad? All right, thanks, Erin. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. Gave it up. He shoots from the deep corner. Misses from the outside. Frazier receives the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The shot's off to his ship with a great block. Bring it hard or don't bring it at all. I can't hear myself think this arena is deafening. Welcome to Columbus, Ohio, baby. Now try to feed the low block in the lane. They can't seem to get the ball to go in tonight, Dick. They have to start making better passes and start going towards the basket more. Pushes it up. Number 21 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. Another great sophomore right here, Dick. Hey, underclassmen are an important part of any program. With a year under his belt, the coaching staff expects solid play from him. He'll visit the charity strike. First shot, good. He misses his second shot. And the free throw woes continue. This is an embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. About three minutes remaining on the game clock. They go into the low block for the bucket. Comes up short. Goes up for two. Gets it to go. They work it around the perimeter. For two, drains it. Football team is usually the one in the spot. Hey, their football team is great, but their basketball program is starting to turn some heads. Tries for two. Dick, if you ask me, they're not getting a whole lot of open looks tonight. They're not moving the ball the way they were taught, Brad. And they get the turnover. About two minutes remaining. On the dribble, gives it up. Bucket makes it. He attempts the trifecta, nails a sweet jumper. That's a great drive to the basket. That's a great take, Brad. That puts pressure on the defense when you go to the hoop like that. Well, partner, this one could go right down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. The center receives the ball. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. On the left side, about a minute remaining in the game clock. Tries for two. 
Off the glass and no good. The point guard with the ball. He shoots from the corner. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. Up and inside. He attempts the trifecta. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Nice shot, Bing. Now they work it around the perimeter. He goes for the trifecta and come up short. Shot clock is dead. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Better foul quick. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. Let's check out this three-pointer one more time, Dick. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And the clock stopped with a foul. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. I think that's it. That's his last personal. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hawking makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark on either side of the floor, Brad. Foul, and that stops the clock again. He steps up to the line. Sinks it. Hits the second. Time out on the floor, folks. More ESPN coverage coming up right after this. Got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Talk about a roller coaster ride. You've been on it before. It takes a kind of a special person to be able to call the shots from that sideline. There are so many highs and lows, Brad. You just hope that you are preaching the right stuff to the kids. You just hope that when you're stressing and asking them to do, they understand and can pull it off. He looks for the bomb. Can't get it to go. Let's check in right now, Dick, and look at our players of the game. I tell you, they were both great here today, Brad. Both ends of the court, a real treat to watch. 